Alright guys, welcome back. We're going to be solving another question from second chapter of Merriam textbook, question 44, and we have this mechanism of problem 215. Uh, so we actually covered this question in the previous videos. Feel free to check out the Merriam textbook playlist and you can see the question by the order of the chapters. So in here we need to develop a general expression for the moment of the force acting on the coupler arm AB about the center O and we need to evaluate the expression based on the two conditions that we have in this question and we have different values for F, theta, phi and we know the value of R is 0.4 meter. So we're going to use the 2D shortcut that we have for finding the moment and if we want to do that let's find the x and y component of the force so we have our force f in here which means this will be our x component and we have our y component here so we know this angle here is theta and the x component will be uh, simply f times cosine of theta and the other one the vertical would be f times sine of theta we can call our x and y in this direction since i call it x and y components and it's pretty easy after just to find a moment about 0.0 counterclockwise positive as always so let's go with the moment of the x component or the horizontal component as we can see the moment is going to be in this direction about 0.0 which is it counterclockwise so we have a positive moment so the force is f times cosine of theta as we discussed so that's the f part and if we want to find the distance uh, i'm going to show the distance in different color actually so so the distance that we have is this is the line of action and we are interested in this distance and if we look at this right triangle here you know the angle is phi and the hypotenuse of that triangle is r so basically we have r times sine of phi for the position vector or the distance vector so that was the moment of the horizontal component let's go with the vertical moment as we can see the vertical moment is also in this direction so another positive moment this time we have f times sine of theta and the distance that we have in here will be uh, what we have in here which is technically r times cosine of phi so that's pretty much our general expression for the moment and in the next part of this question we just have to put our values for f r theta and phi so if you do that in the a part we have these values for f so our f is 500 our theta is 60 degrees r is 0.4 and sine of 20 degrees that's the first part plus 500 sine of 60 degrees times 0.4 sine of uh sorry cosine of cosine of 20 degrees so if you calculate this from the first part we get 34.2 plus 162.76 and that's going to give us 196.96 newton meter and positive sign shows that the moment is counterclockwise so b part is pretty similar we just have different values the f is 800 we have the cosine of 45 degrees so if you look at here we see that the f is 800 theta is 45 and phi is 150 and with the same value for r cosine of 45 same value for r sine of theta which is 150 degrees and we're gonna do the same thing for the other one the only difference is that the angle that we have for phi will be different meaning that that force is applying somewhere in here so this will be our new phi so the force will be applying in the other side and since we get the negative sign for the cosine of 150 oh actually the moment at the end will be something different so we get 113.4 from the first one and for the second part we have 194 and i'm talking about this part the second part and this is the first part 195.96 and this is going to give us minus 80 82.8 newton meter and this time we have a negative sign which shows a clockwise moment 
so basically we have another direction for our moment but yeah that's pretty much for this one let me know if you have any question uh, regarding this one feel free to drop it in the comment section i'd be happy to answer those don't forget to subscribe to the channel like and comment and i'll see you guys in the next video have a good one mm -hmm.